Hey, I have a migraine. So I'm not doing very well today, but I did get this book at a super... I'm sorry, a punch cell yesterday. Um, and it's called Supernatural Warnings uh, by Robert Trillins. Trollins? Um, the reason I picked this book, this is it, because it's kind of fucking funny. Uh, you hear me say sorry. It's just like a bunch of pages. Like, and I, I don't know what it's about, so uh, I'm going to go ahead and read a little bit to you. Like I said, um, Robert, Robert, Kalen, Strollins, Supernatural Warnings. I just have that feeling that something is wrong. Have you often have, how often have you said, uh, I need glasses. <laughs> sorry, sorry guys, I'm going to start over. Uh, okay. How often have you said that to yourself, yet have been too timid to voice it aloud, lest you be laughed at? Never. I never say, I, I never say nothing. If there is something to be said, I'm probably the one saying that. Um... Yet in recent years, these so-called feelings, hold on a second here, a popular library book carefully inspected by the popular library, editorial board, and represents titles by the world's greatest authors. Copyright 1974. All right, cool. That's what we're working with here. Yet in recent years, these so-called feelings have become increasingly recognized as representing powers we have we as yet little understand but must acknowledge in this book you will find true stories and testimonies of ordinary men and women whose experiences have gone beyond vague feelings to actual and encounters with supernatural powers encounters that have warned them of impending danger disaster and death often in time to save their lives read this book <laughs> if i read a book that's most that's what my interest is going to be. Read this book. Read this book and make up your own mind. Whether to listen to the messages that may be given to you now or in the future by forces you cannot name, it can be the most important reading of your life. Wow, this, this book is going to be good. Let's read the first chapter. Supernatural Warnings. Bow! Well, now... How do we go from page one to page seven? That's fucking interesting. Um, it's called The Other Side of the Coin. Because she received what she believed, the supernatural warning, a Florida woman induced her <laughs> induced induced her husband to hide their priceless collection of antique jewelry and rare coins just in time to save everything from the clutches of the holdup man. Shortly after Dora and Floyd Payne closed up a shop at an outdoor flea market on Sunday, September 19th, 1971, and began to pack white use periods and start new sentences, asshole. People need to breathe. And began to pack everything they had on display into the back of their wagon. Dora happened to glance at her charm bracelet. And then did a double take when she saw a weird white light glowing from one of the coins dangling from it. She paused a moment as she was almost afraid to look. In the lengthening twilight shadows, there was something hypnotic about the glowing coin, and she was strongly aware of a sense of foreboding. As she touched it and then turned it over from the other side of the coin, which dated from 33 B.C., she distinctly saw this torso of light. It seemed to be page nine. Page eleven. Page fifteen. Well, this is gonna be a hard book to read and fun. It'll be like decoding or something. Um. 
uh, yeah, so I had a migraine. I'm no fun today. I thought I would share my no fun with you because everybody likes no fun. Right? Or am I wrong here? Okay, so again, Supernatural Warnings by Robert Trollins. Trollins. I don't know. Uh, but if you do happen to go get this book, I mean, check the pages. Make sure they're all there because sometimes, apparently sometimes shit doesn't work out and then you don't have all of the book that you want to read because I want to make fun of this book and again, my life is over. Uh, have a great fucking Saturday, guys. Also, you guys can probably barely see me. I'm sorry I had to turn all the lights off because, um, they suck. Looking at you kind of sucks, too. Uh, but, uh, I should be working on my article. I will be, I promise. Be. You be. Uh, and also, I... <laughs> um... Uh, I think the migraine medicines have taken hold. Fantastic. I wanted to know if any of you got migraines and what were some of your suggestions for them. Because maybe you know something I don't know. I mean, that's not even a maybe, really. You probably know something I don't know. But if it's like bananas, or I swear to God, if you fucking say coconut oil, I'll fucking hunt you down, and I will fucking show you coconut oil. It's like the new fucking... Windex, um, toothpaste and shit. You know, what will fix your CD. Well, I just put toothpaste on it. Bitch, you owe me a Donna Immaculate Collection CD now. Fuck you. I'm sorry. Have a good day. <laughs>